So, dig of hip hop is getting ready to turn 50 years old, man. What's your take? How do you feel about that? And, you know, any thoughts on hip hop turning 50? Personally, I think it's already 50. I mean, I, I think, I mean, the date that we had, which was like, what, 73 or whatever it was, it's supposed to be, right. or 72. Um, yeah. I, I think it was before that, personally, because it started somewhere else. But, you know, this is the date that existed here with us. So, yeah, in the 50 years, I mean, I think that for the most part, you know, the culture is it's, it's held it's held on pretty good, man. The culture vulture has been trying really hard to change it into something else and fuck it up and, you know, group everything together. The day that they call Usher a hip hop artist, that shit was funny as hell. Um, <laughs> you know, the music that that's out that did that, that they're trying to group in and say that it's hip hop, you know, drill music or whatever that shit is, whatever the fuck that other style of music is, that's a whole nother style. I don't consider that hip hop. But for the most part, you know, the people that were the foundation of it outside of our older, older elders, brothers like Busy B and Grandmaster Kaz and people like that and, and Cool Herc and Grandmaster Flash and all of those, still the best artists are still to me are like, you know, like 40 and older. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not knocking the, the younger niggas, but I don't think they pay enough homage to the people that came before them, like what, how we did. Like, we didn't try to overtake nobody in the 90s. Like, the people that was before us, we wasn't trying to overtake LL. We wasn't trying to overtake Slick Rick. We wasn't trying to, you understand, like, forget about them. Yo, them, them, them the old heads, you understand? Like, we, we didn't do that. And, and, and this generation, if, if it wasn't for people like you, you understand? Like, y'all, we, we wouldn't have half of the shit that we have right now because it'll be all fucked up because of the culture voters that fucked it up. So the 50 years of us, you know, of this culture being what it is, I think for the most part, it has taken some hits. You know, like a fucking aircraft. If an aircraft been out there flying for fifty years, it's gonna have some dents on it. It's gonna it's taking some hits, but for the most part, I think um I'm I'm happy with, you know, fifty years of our culture. I and I, I I'm I don't know where it's actually gonna go now, but I'm trying to keep it on course with, you know, some of the same elements that got us loving what the music is all about. Doesn't matter about the age. If people going on this age shit, yo, you're too old, you're too drunk, you get a certain age, you can't do this, you can't do that. Yeah, eat a dick. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? Like, I outperform niggas, I'll stand on stage for hours or more performing with songs you've never heard in your life. But when you leave there, you're gonna be like, yo, you got some shit, yo. I guarantee you that. So all that age shit, kick rocks with that. No that, shit is, that shit is, come on, get the fuck out of here. But said, yeah, like I said, the 50 years, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm, I'm not sad. I'm definitely not sad because I see, you know, it's some people, like I said, they, they, you know, like yourself, y'all trying to keep us where we need to be and let people know that, that really, really, really put their heart and soul into this shit. And Absolutely. they just pop up from out of nowhere and just said, you know, one day I want to be a rapper. One day I want to be a producer. My mother ain't buy me one piece of equipment. Not one. I was a platinum producer with not one piece of equipment. I ain't have a SP. I ain't have a 950. I ain't have shit. I went to everybody else's crib and produced. <laughs> and took my disc with me. I swear <laughs> to God, I ain't never had not one machine in my crib ever. Wow. Not one. I never went in my basement and made a beat. I went to everybody else's crib. Ezo House, Noam House, whoever else house. David Bright. I don't know if you know who Dave Bright is. Dave Bright is uh, 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 from this group called Vertical Hole that Angie Stone was in. Mm. That was her boyfriend at the time. I used to go to their house in Jersey City and sleep on their fucking floor while Dave Bright showed me how to use the S1100 at the time because that was a wow. stereo sampler. I swear to God, true fucking story. <laughs> Facts. Angie Straight B. Up. Huh? Nice, yep. nice. That's crazy. Wow. 
E N G B, one of the first fucking original female fucking rappers. Female e -N -G -B. E -N -G -B. Exactly. Yeah, Her yeah, house. What was it? On Angie B, Goldie. Floor. And, and, yeah. you want to get a six degrees of separation? Here we go. Big Ezo, that's his fucking cousin. Crazy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bang. And I didn't even know that. He tells me this later. Yo, you know wow. Angie, you know Angie Stone, my cousin, right? Get the fuck out of really? here. <laughs> Why the fuck we ain't have us singing on my records, nigga? So, so, man, you should. You you, said you guys probably know Little Ronnie C also, right? That she used to be married to. Yeah. From, from Double Trouble. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, listen, yeah. Digger, one more thing before we go. Any hip hop artist from whatever generation that you haven't worked with that you would that's on your bucket list or that you would love to work with, who would that be? Uh, that's a good one. But we already talked about Nas, Nas, Snoop, MC8, mm -hmm. Scarface, LL, and Kane. Mm -hmm. Damn, I could see you and Kane. I mean, any one that you just mentioned, but you and Kane, that yeah. would be ill. Yeah. That would be it. Yeah, I, I fuck with yo. That right there to me. I, if I could do any of that, I would like to do all of it. I don't actually. I, I don't actually have to be on a song with them, but that would be the ultimate shit. But just a beat that I picked out for them, then I said, "Yo, this shit is for you." Like you yeah, yeah, do, yeah. and and they turn it into some magical shit, and I'd be like, "It's exactly what I fucking thought it would be." So I don't even have to rhyme with them. You know, that would be the ultimate shit. But no, if they just did something that I said I did for them or when somebody on our team did it and I said, yo, fuck that. I don't think this should be for me. I think this should be for one of them or whoever I call and say that's who it's for. But yeah, that would be my ultimate. Nice. You know, 